It's so bright. Ow. Do you have your rings on? Of course, hon. We're a married right. couple. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are going to do a 200,000 subscriber Q&A, <laughs> even though we're a little late doing this, but you all send in questions to my Instagram, which you should follow, Dr. Cellini at Instagram. And you should also follow Andriana Cellini at Instagram. We need to get her to 10,000 followers on Instagram, and she may consider doing YouTube if that happens. So, nonetheless. <laughs> Michael, just making stuff up. <laughs> so we are going to pick questions off of YouTube and Instagram. They're for the both of us. So, let's get into it. Let's go. Do you still do no, that? we haven't done that in years. Oh, not nice. You're just lean forward a little bit. Just remember, remember you do it. You end up doing this. Yeah. Do like this. Okay, babe. <laughs> do you see how he treats me? <sighs> what kind of finances, loans, and grants did you use during your medical school and residency times? That's a good one. That's good. So I was actually going to do a whole video on this because I think student debt in med school is a very important topic. I had a scholarship for swimming uh, at University of Georgia, so I didn't have to take any loans out there, but I did have to take out a ton of loans for med school, a couple hundred thousand dollars. So that's cool. We're gonna do a whole video on that, probably discussing how to repay it and everything. Yeah, so like I'm excited to be done, be an attending physician, not excited to pay off loans. Sounds good. My plan is to pay it off in under five years, probably less. Does Andriana ever feel annoyed or upset when you get called in for a case or emergency and you have to ditch on family dinner or plans? Never. I always try to put like myself in the patient's position. If there's an emergency, someone has to take care of the patient and that's Michael's time to do that. So I totally understand. And also being in medicine, I think you know exactly what's an emergency and how to cope with that. So, no, I don't. When Michael's on call, I always plan my week of all my errands and stuff to do. So, yeah. Oh, this is a good one. Have you ever had anxiety while doing a case? If so, how did you combat it? Yeah, 100%. I think you get anxiety, especially when you're starting out. Even in fellowship, when you're first starting fellowship, doing the more complex cases, I think it's only natural to be nervous and have anxiety to do cases because you're not born with these skills. I think that's normal and everybody has anxiety from time to time. The goal is to lessen that anxiety as you go along in your training, which I feel that happens. But I think once I start as an attending, that anxiety will come back a little more and then slowly taper off. So, yeah. Sure. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> it's broke the table. Oh, this is funny. Okay. How did you all first start dating and did Andriana play hard to get when you first asked her out? Um, <laughs> we you? always talk, we always relive these moments. Why are you always so nervous? Um, <laughs> so I was a surgery PA and Michael was doing his intern year in surgery at the same hospital that I was working at. And the first time we met was, I was rounding on my patients in the SICU and he was the SICU resident. And I walked through those doors and it was love at first sight for him. But not for you? <laughs> no. <okay. laughs> what is that about? <laughs> it was love at first sight for me. She had some love at first sight. She had some loving eyes. No, you didn't really have a wall up. You flirted with me just as much. Sure. I definitely found Michael very attractive and then got to know him and we knew that it was meant to be, so yeah. Advice for a new grad PA, salary negotiation, specialties to start out in, how you feel about your first few years as a PA. I know you have strong feelings about this. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. If there's a specialty that you really enjoy during your rotations, I would say try to get a job in that specialty. Unless you're really unsure what you really wanna do, then try to get a broad, like a broad based job, whether it's like emergency medicine, internal medicine, urgent care. But for example, if you really like orthopedics, then get the job in orthopedics, because in the end, that's probably where you'll end up staying. With certain specialties, they will lowball you as a new grad if there's a training period. Specifically speaking in plastic surgery, dermatology, aesthetics, you will have that 
six month training so you may have a lower salary and then regarding like the hospital positions there's usually like a base salary that they start all new grads in kind of look through like what the actual state per state is paying and then kind of always aim higher i always say embarrass yourself with your first salary offer if you don't embarrass yourself with that number then it's not high enough. <laughs> this is a good one. Have you considered a new fresh hairstyle marking your move into <laughs> private practice? We were just talking about Wait. this. This is so funny. We were like, Michael just randomly came home. He's Last like, night. Yeah, and he's like, Literally. do you think I should change up my hairstyle? I'm like, to what? I don't have that many options, per se. Like, I don't know, like, maybe you're, I mean, ask, I mean, ask your barber tomorrow. I mean, I'm in my 30s, I have a receiving hairline. Like, I mean, what, what, what else am I gonna do here? I mean, I could go straight back. No, thanks. Yeah, then I look like I'm like 50 years old or something. <laughs> so I don't know, I mean, I, I don't have any options, Send guys. some pictures I don't have what any you think yeah. will look good. Send me some pictures of a haircut so you think will look good on me. Yeah. I don't have that many options, guys. I'm sorry. All right, so this is a good one here. <laughs> what is your age difference? Ah, uh, six years. Six years. Six years. I met her, yeah, when I was... 30. 30. And I'm gonna be 30 on Wednesday or June 2nd, since we don't know when this video is being released. Snag, someone else said, how did you how did you snag a 10 like Andriana? <laughs> and I mean, you know, I mean, if you got it, you got it. Is that your word of advice? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Quote by Dr. Yes. Cellini, if you got it, you got it. Every, I mean, everybody gets lucky once, right? This was, I got lucky. Oh, honey, you didn't get lucky. I got lucky. That's sweet. All you. Okay. Do you want kids? If yes, how many kiddos? When do you plan on having children? Do you guys want kids? We should do one, two, three, go. And you put up how many kids you want. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go. I knew you were gonna say that. I, I knew you were gonna say that. I was probably gonna say four. Yes, yeah, so we do want children. When? I'm gonna be like 85 by the time we have three kids. They'll come. Yeah. Not Don't yet. worry, you guys will know. Yeah, not yet, but they will. What are your preferences for a first child, boy or girl? I don't care, but I always said, if we have three boys, we'll have to try for a girl. She wants a girl so she can, yeah, <laughs> take her shopping. All right, we got a whole bunch of Instagram questions as well. That was all YouTube. All right, so this one's for Andriana. What's y'all's opinion? That must be a Southerner. Let's go. What's y'all's opinion on the recent PA name change in the AOA recent statement? So the PA name was changed from physician assistant to physician associate. And then the AOA released a statement, but we were gonna do a whole video on this, but just to touch base on it, I think it's a good change for us because I think the word assistant, when it comes to patient care, does not represent what we actually do. And it is confusing when it comes to them thinking that we are a medical assistant and not a provider. However, I do see where the conflict does come into play when it, with the AOA statement. The AOA was saying that now that there's different degrees of getting a doctorate in X and Y, yeah. that providers can introduce themselves as, hi, I'm Dr. So-and-so, or that. Yeah. that so yeah. we don't have a doctorate. No PA that I've ever met slash myself has ever said, hi, I'm Dr. Adriana, and I'm gonna be your doctor today. No PA has ever tried to replace a doctor. But we'll do a whole video on that. Yeah. Probably. Does Adriana like that you're from the South? Go dogs. Go dog sick them. I actually love that Michael's from the South. Someone who was born and raised in New York, I think we become so close-minded in a way of we just know New York. And if it wasn't for Michael being from the well, South. Well, people in the South. So a lot yeah, of people in exactly. the South don't go to the North and the North don't go to the South. Yeah, that's true. So you just stay in your little bubbles and you like don't see one or the other and then like you think the other one's bad, but then in reality, yeah, I, 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 I love it. <laughs> we lived in the South, I enjoyed it. Would you ever go back? This is what we were discussing when Michael was lo looking for jobs. I would go back if I wasn't, if I didn't have family up in the north. Yeah, right? I, we were both considering it if the right job came about. Yeah. The problem is my family is so scattered. Her family is all up here, so. It kind of just made sense to be close to at least one side and then travel for the other side. Yeah. When we were in North Carolina, we were trying for both parties and it was just a lot. I think this was a nice, or a happy medium. Separate accounts or joined, how do you guys split bills? Oh, that is a good one. We still have separate accounts. We don't have a joint account yet. The only reason is because in North Carolina, our bank, which is predominantly in the Northeast, oh yeah, we we didn't have that bank in the South. So once she, we got married and she moved down there, 
we just kind of kept it separate. Then we moved up here during the Pandy Wandy and I don't know, we still haven't had time to like yeah. combine. And we had to like events. make an appointment at the bank to like go do this stuff and we both had to be off. And and honestly, it's just been because we're lazy. Yeah. We will have it soon. I, I think it'd just be easier for us to just so kind easy. of so just to it's just it would be easier on me since like I manage all of like investments and like money and then I have to have a separate business account for like social media and stuff. But I mean it's so much easier having one central account to manage versus like Blah, 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 all this stuff. It's, it's hard to like, too many right, hun, Don't try to take over my account now. <laughs> Please. I mean, like, this guy is just trying to come in and steal all my money over here. Steal my money. Are you invested in figs? Uh, the answer is yes. Obviously, you see me work for that company. I love them. And hopefully, you've watched the video, which will probably come out before this one, about all that. What is your go to restaurant in New York City? Go to. Honestly, any place in the West Village, so good, yes. so good, so good. Oh, that's a good one too. Wait, babe, hold on, my shirt's untied. I mean, like, having technical difficulties. These are two here. Makeup tutorial from Andriana. <laughs> Is that in the future? Sure, if you guys want one. Not on my show. <laughs> hey, you'll get a lot of views. Probably. Can Andriana start a like to know it, please? I love her style. Sure, but I think you have to have a certain number of followers. All right, comment below what follower count and she'll get it if you guys want. No, I think you have to have like a certain number of followers on Instagram before. I don't know, I have to look into it. All right, follower on Instagram. Wow, this one, you must know I'm from the South. Best off-road SUV. I mean, you gotta go Jeep. I've had Jeeps my whole life. Off-roaded in Jeeps my whole life. Not so much anymore. Do some rapid fire uh, ones. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Cooking rapid fire. or takeout. We used to cook so much living in North Carolina, but in the city, it's just so good to try new restaurants. So, so I easy. feel like and so easy, so I feel like we take out a little bit more than we should. I mean, we spend way too much money on takeout here. It's so easy, I mean, last night, we were just sitting here, we are like, just craving Indian food. Oh, freaking Indian food sent to our door. Michael's favorite cuisine, I clearly. I love Indian food so much, so much. All right, rapid fire, let's go. Does Adriana make you sleep separately when you're on call? No. <laughs> what? Oh, does it wake you up? Yeah, no, uh, no. I, sometimes I wake up, sometimes I don't. He says I can come in at any time in the morning and she's, she's literally just, knocked out in the bed. She won't even wake up. And she doesn't even wake up. When my phone rings all through the night, I can have like long conversations next to her in bed. She doesn't wake up. Sometimes. Calls, texts, uh, pages, multiple phone calls. <laughs> she's still sound asleep and I'm next to her. I wouldn't, I could never do that. How was your first date with each other? We actually went to Root and Bone. So I took her, you know, cause she's a, a New York girl. So I took her to one of the only Southern restaurants in the city called Root and Bone. Uh, I took her there for our first date. It was delicious. To Adriana, how proud are you of Dr. Of Dr. Cellini to finish a fellowship? Oh my gosh, I'm such a fan girl. I'm so proud and I'm so happy. I feel like I'm finished too. <laughs> relief has set over both of us that we no longer have to endure this craziness well i still have like two more weeks left but nonetheless as soon as that's done no more craziness and we're officially done all right <laughs> so that's it i put down people it's right, like that's an it. 80 minute video okay that's it all right that's it, all right, that's it. send us out andriana thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i hope you enjoyed this q a <laughs> We will do another video on a few of those topics that you guys mentioned, that we mentioned. Maybe I'll do some makeup tutorials. I don't know. We'll see. Follow her on Instagram. <laughs> if you have any more questions, comment below. We'll try to do a more of these. Maybe we'll do a live. Maybe it's kind so, of easy. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do a live, like rapid fire one of these, but I did it by the cord that connects it. Oh, there you could yeah. do that? Oh, I didn't know yeah. that you could I'm like, you know, it has to be high quality and I have to hook my camera up to the computer and I just didn't do we'll it. We'll do that. It's coming, point. it's coming. I'm gonna like live stream more and stuff. Um, but other than that, like and subscribe to Dr. Cellini's YouTube channel if you haven't already. Follow me on TikTok. Follow him on TikTok, Instagram. Follow Andrana on Instagram as well. Andrana Cellini, we'll put the link up here. Otherwise, we'll see you all on our next video. Bye. See ya.